Ethereum is testing a crucial resistance level. If that sounds interesting, you make sure to continue watching this video. We are nearing 900 Telegram members and if you haven't joined yet and are interested in staying up with my charts as well as some trades, make sure to check out the link in the bio. We have been absolutely- Hey guys, me Charts here. Welcome back to another Ethereum analysis video. As always, if you do enjoy my content, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. If you guys are interested in $35,000 trading bonus, make sure to check out the link in the bio. Now, as you guys can see on Ethereum, we are testing a very key support level here at 1839. You can see that we did see a very nice bounce opportunity once again retest testing our exponential moving average here and rejecting off that zone. For those of you that are part of Telegram channel, you guys already knew the fact that we were looking for this retest, but I want to talk about a few things. Number one, of course, tomorrow we do have federal news coming up, which of course causes the market to be in extreme volatility. I would highly suggest maybe waiting on the sidelines to decide to see what happens tomorrow before you start entering your positions. And you can see in terms of our 1884 support level, we have already retested this level as resistance got the confirmation and now we are pretty much in this downward spiral if tomorrow we do end up losing 1839 and the news does end up being bearish ladies and gentlemen we have this absolutely massive bar formation looking to play out where we could be looking for some capitulation events possibly back down into the 1600 dollar range zooming out completely though you can see that we have seen the same sort of formation happen before where we had a massive run-up bar formation completely completed and then we had that continuation and that's exactly what I'm probably expecting that happens here again before we see any sort of continuation towards the upside. Usually with bar formations they are extremely quick and extremely powerful so you have to be very very careful so I would highly suggest maybe laddering in some shorting limit orders around the 1839 to 1838 zone if tomorrow you can catch that wick even down to 1787 that's going to present some very nice profitable trading opportunities. Now looking at the daily time frame we have a little bit of a different story here. You can see the fact that we have rejected off our exponential moving averages and the fact that you can see that we have already hit the 1884 level. But with tomorrow's news, I wouldn't be surprised if we do see another quick liquidity grab into the EMA lines, grabbing that liquidity and then the further continuation to the downside. You can see that we've had quite a few consecutive days of red before we are finally starting to see some sort of price action here at 1839. But the difference is from from a bullish case scenario, we would still have to somehow break above 1936 and use that level as support. For those of you that are new to the channel, the reason is, of course, you can see that this level acted as a very strong resistance. And now what we want to see is the same level acting as a strong support. If we are not able to see this level as support, then this, of course, was a fake out situation and we are looking for further continuation to the downside. So be very careful when you guys are trading. But that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. As always, if you do enjoy my content, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. If you guys are interested in $35,000 trading bonus, make sure to check out the link in the bio. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day.